Hey everyone and welcome to this video uh, where we will be taking a look and building the Plastic Soldier Company's German Panzer IV 15mm scale tank. I picked this up at a uh, local convention I went to a couple of weeks ago and uh, I thought it would be a fun build so I hope you enjoy. Also worth mentioning uh, this is a uh, uh, the kit the kit cost me about s uh, 17 British pounds, and uh, which is uh, way cheaper than uh, the other 15 millimeter scale tanks out there, uh, mainly from Battlefront. So it's a it's a great value, and also you get five tanks in the box, so that's super. So here's a look at the instructions. Um, there are. Uh, five I believe five different variants you're able to build um, and there's pieces f for uh, to uh, to make those different variants in this video I'll personally be making the F2 tank so here's a close look at the uh, sprue as you can see here are the uh, armored side skirts uh, right there and um, a couple of extra armor pieces to make one variant um, I believe, I believe the H variant and here are the different guns and their respective uh, mantle pieces there are two commanders you could to put in your uh, hatch and also to note the uh, track or wheel section come in one piece so there's not too much fiddling with that and uh, here's the back side of a sprue, uh, not much going on, all the details in the front. So let's get building. Uh, well, obviously I won't let you sit here and watch me clip all of this off the sprue. So we'll just speed it along a little faster here. I did find uh, two sinkholes on the mantelpiece uh, and this is actually represented throughout all the five sprues so I need to fill those and uh, what I'm using is uh, I'll be using squadron putty or green putty if you will uh, to fill those it's a great product and uh, I, I use it a lot so I take a little tool, any tool will do, I'm using a modeling tool here, and just uh, slap it on there. Don't need to be too uh, precise or gentle with it, because it will be sanded down uh, smooth once, uh, once it dries. I'm applying it very thin, so it will dry quickly, and uh, I believe I waited about 30 minutes around around 30 minutes uh, before I could begin to sand it. And there you have it. Uh, perfectly smooth and nothing will show once, uh, once painted. Pretty simple fix and uh, let's move on. So let's glue it together and see what it looks like. All right, there we go. It is done. Uh, I added a couple of spare pieces to it. As you can see, there are some spare track wheels, uh, which I added to the sides here. And on one of the back fenders, I also put a, a jerry can there. And on the front, there's some uh, spare tracks. Also, I uh, drilled out the main gun, as well as the tow table, uh, tow cable connections. <laughs> on the front there using a small small drill and a pin vise. So the only challenge with this kit, well, apart from the sinkholes which was an easy fix really, uh, was, the, was the tracks. Uh, they are glued on in, uh, in two parts. Um, 
and they join up in the front and in the back. Uh, the problem was that they weren't, weren't long enough to, uh, to do that, so they would leave a gap either in the front or in the back. So what I had to do was glue together the two pieces of track in the front and let it dry for 30-40 minutes uh, com completely and then I, I, I was able to kind of fiddle it or stretch it to fit uh, in the back. So uh, apart from that it was, it was a treat to put together, uh, everything went smoothly. Because this is an injection molded plastic kit, uh, it ends up being a little bit light. So you could easily put weights in it or, or a base, whatever you want basically. But for me, uh, it's fine, but it's just a thought. You might, it might be a little bit light. So um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I'll probably be uh, painting this. Uh, I don't know if I'll show it, but I, mean, I might, we'll see. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more. Bye bye.